I what did you what what when he when he when they approached you about signing? How was that? Was it like, man, we need you to sign the no limit or what? Uh, how it was actually, man. Like Vault called me. He said, man, okay. P P P won't f you. Wow. you know what I'm saying? He gave me the rundown. He said, man, I'ma click you over. I got on the phone with P. Talked to him maybe like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, I'm f with you. Like I like what you got going on. Like I I won't bring you to the studio. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, you know, man, I take it all the way back to the mm -hmm. music every time. Man. Right, right, right. You know, like, I'm, I'm Master P, you know, I'm in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like putting a tank on. Where the mm -hmm. tank at? You ain't got the tank? I ain't got no tank. Man. You I never did it. get a tank? I had a tank. Let's be real. Let's be real. Tank. Why you ain't got the tank? You know, we, we, we parted ways. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did, but when it worked, when it first went down, how was it when you first signed to Master P? Like, it was what was good. that like? It was, it was, it was like, like, see, the thing is my uncles hang with them. They grew up, okay. so I'm yeah. seeing this as a kid. That's how, that's what got me into rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I see this 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 this, this mogul and like what he doing coming to the project and doing these videos. It's like, man, this is somebody that's from a place where I'm from. And you 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 connected with my family. So this like, I could see that this happened is possible. So mm -hmm. that kind of put mm -hmm. me into it. And like, like being signed to P, like, Growing up watching them, you know what I'm saying, seeing what's going on and being able to do it is like, you know what I'm saying, I was able to, that was like a goal, you know what I'm saying, to sign with somebody from your 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 project or your hood or where you from and, and to make something from it. So when it when it came through, it's like, man, like, I right, it's time, it's time to work now. You know what what did you what what when he when he when they approached you about signing, how was that? Was it like, man, we need you to sign the no limit or what? Uh how it was. Actually, man, like Vault called me. He said, Man, okay. P, P, P won't f you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He gave me the rundown, he said, Man, I'm gonna click you over. I got on the phone with P talked to him maybe like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, I'm f with you. Like I like what you got going on. Like I I won't bring you to the studio. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, like I was how old was you then? Twenty six. So you was you knew you knew yeah. what you was getting yourself into. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So at that point, I already had, you know, I already been in movies and all. I'd have been around contracts. I'd have been in the industry in the filming part. So you know, what I'm saying I was on game with a lot of different things. And yeah. Then just going up there, and it's like it was really just like I'm gonna sit back and you know, what I'm saying, watch and, and learn. Wow. How you end up doing a song with Lil Romeo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and, and Symphony, but was she? Yeah, on Symphony. No, uh, no. Well, man, we got a bunch of songs. Bunch Me and Symphony have some uh, thinking about you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got the video for it. Uh, yeah. Me and Ron, we got a bunch of uh, songs we worked on. Did, was that something you guys just did on your own, or was did Master P have anything to do with that? Uh, nah, we just kind of did it on our own. Just kind of did something kinda, what y'all wanted. You know what I'm saying? We just link up, man. I'll be in the studio. I'll make some. He'll pull up. I like that. I'm gonna jump on it. I right, bet. You know what I'm saying? And they'll hear something like vice versa, like, look, Ace, I want you to get on this. So it was just kind of like we had that that freedom, just like we just locked in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Black on the beats, like we just in there, like just making music to when the sun come up to the sun coming down and coming back up, we still in the studio just working. Do you think because he started at such an early age, do you think he burned himself out on the music? Because he kind of been pushed back a little bit mm -hmm. from it? Uh that's just just all subjective opinion, right? Because right. you know? more like you know he he doing this thing with the movies. A lot. Of course, yeah. I know, you know that. What I'm saying like he put out music, but you know that's that's the first love that that, that puts you. Do you, on you your feet. think that the way the music industry, the way that the independent deals is going now, the mm -hmm. way that the music is streaming now, do you think that's pushing a lot of people away from music? Or yeah. is it bringing more people into it? Because you hear both sides. You hear people say, man, the music don't pay like it used to. You remember yeah, Snoop, Snoop Dogg said that. Yeah, Snoop yeah. said that. I think he had like billions, 40 billion right, streams, right. And, and he didn't make hardly nothing or something like yeah, that. It was like crazy now. This. It was really, I think it was more than 40 billion. It might right. have been. They say he make it in the shows. Yeah, yeah but still, like, yeah, like, 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 do like you that. think that yeah, help people? That's right. That's right. So at the end of the day, do you think? But I don't know. That streaming getting to everybody like it's cutting people money. That's not even just for music. It's with the acting. Like this whole strike Same thing. thing. That's right. Like, that writer like, strike. Like, like when 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 everything came when COVID happened and everything kind of went streaming. Like it, it 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 like we wasn't getting our residuals for it. Writers wasn't getting their credit for it. Like so you're not getting getting your full credit for what you did. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people start leaning away. That's why. 
people doing it because it's like it ain't no money. You got to have other things to do. Like you ain't just making this straight off music. Right, because a lot of comedians are going back to stand up comic now, too, mm -hmm. instead of, you know, just. Yeah, they stream everything, man. They making money off you. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's where they're trying to put everything. Technology, AI is going to be putting people out of jobs. Like they want to have it where, you know, they can use you. If you ain't paying attention to your contract, they can use your fakes, your likeness, your I voice, see that. and put this and put it in the movie. But going back to P, uh, mm -hmm. just a little bit on that subject, was you, what did you expect to get out of the deal when you when you signed the P? Let's be real. Uh, what was you trying to What was you trying to accomplish? You 26. Mm -hmm. You definitely got your head on your shoulders right. at that point enough to understand and comprehend. I'm getting myself in this. Well, what it was, it was like, man, I, I knew what I was doing myself, you know what I'm saying? And, and to have a mogul kind of just like you able to be around him and learn from it. So it was like more of a learning situation. And getting those looks. Right. Because it was like, he never just like took us as and like we artists. Like he, 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 he made us bosses. Everybody, like he worked with us to make us a boss. Like he didn't want us to have us just to be his artists. Like he want to show us what we need to learn, move around and see how he move and how things operate and then let us go. So that was the situation, how it was like, you know, it was that time. Like I, I, I learned what I needed to learn at that moment. And I, I just went from there. Who well, I was on the on No Limit when, when, that, uh, when you signed at that time. Like, you I, know, we right. I'm trying to see what year this was. When I first, this was like, uh, man, what year was this? 2016? No, so it wasn't just crazy long back. But yeah, it wasn't crazy. About, about, yeah, about 10 years. Yeah. You so, know what I'm saying? But who was on there? When I first got there was me. Black, and it was a guy named Young June from Pittsburgh. Okay. And uh, and then from that man, we just he had his artists from LA. Was well, so this like a new low, new no limit? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we kind of started that, and then you know he reached back out and got some more artists. You know what I'm saying? From New Orleans, came got Popeye back, R.I.P. Popeye. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of the artists he was dealing with from Baton Rouge and stuff like that. He just kind of wants the buzz happened again, he just kind of put everything back together. Did you ever get a chance to link up with Snoop, being that he no, close I, to the camp? I never, never did nah, get that? Because he asked too, I was thinking that would have been dope to right, see right, you and right. him on, no, on yeah. an acting bid together. Right, right, right. I don't know if he, I don't know if he can hold his own with you though, because you a bad boy in that yeah. acting, man. Man, I I'm telling it, you man. right now, I, I watch you, man. It, man. You you have a nigga convinced you is not that nigga that's sitting there right now. <laughs> no. You know what I'm talking about? That, and that's what it is. Like I study, like how I study, I watch movies and yeah. I'm like, and honestly, being around other actors, like big names, is like, I see how this person is in real life. Like this, that's them. So- And they're on, totally off different? Screen, hmm? They're totally different? Nah, that's them on and off screen. Oh, they're similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I first started acting, I did, uh, when I first got into acting, I did Tremit, HBO Tremit. I did second season. I played as Lil Cali, a rapper. Mm -hmm. uh, my co-star was Steve Zahn. Mm -hmm. So like, he's like that on and off camera. Paul I've met on and off camera, like everybody act I met, you know what I'm saying? And then by the type of movies I did, like I ain't doing Willy Wonka or something for somebody to really Crazy, change right. their self, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was just normal. Like I said, it was just like a different version I had to tap into. Mm -hmm. Like I had to understand, when they first set me up with the dialect coach, I'm like, man, I know how to talk, like, what you mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying? That I had to understand and really listening back, like, man, all right, bet. So I'm a, I, I gotta do this and show them I know what I'm doing because I'm on on set with these big names. So it's like they got big body of work. Like I'm just coming in the game, like and they like I'm a co-star. Like, so it's like I gotta hold my own, like, you know what I'm right. saying? And then it came to a point where I just got comfortable that I'm executive producing stuff on that. Like a lot of the stuff I did on film, I directed it myself. Wow. I, I, I changed my dialogue. I change what I'm doing. I add stuff to it, and I'm like, let, let me try this. And he'd be like, all right, go ahead. And uh, and then you know, I do it for camera. Like I do how they wanted me to do it, just for safety. But they will always keep what I did. So when I go look back at the play playbacks and look at it, when it comes out, it's like I came up with that. Okay. So, so now it's like I want to get into the part of being executive producer. I need my credit now. You want to be a producer, director, yeah. all of that. Yeah. Cause yeah. That's what do they make more, way more money than the actors? Oh yeah, they make money. <laughs> I <just> make money. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.